Hey guys, welcome back to another video at Jensen's Reptiles. Uh, we're going to be cracking on with the weekly histories. So this week is my lovely little carpet python, Mapani. I say little, anyone that's been watching for a while will see just how much she's grown. But she's absolutely gorgeous. She's um, currently out basking, so she's getting a bit of heat, preparing for her dinner tonight, which I will film for you so you can see her eating. I'm not going to pull her out of her enclosure today, uh, purely because it is feeding day and I want her to eat later without uh, feeling any kind of stress. Um, so this is Mopani's enclosure. She is in a three foot live exotic. Um, in a few months she'll be moving up into a um, four foot arboreal. So four foot wide, four foot high, I think it's about two foot deep. Um, so she'll have loads of space to climb around. These uh, Liana style branches will definitely feature, but as she grows, I'll look for something a little bit sturdier for her as well. Um, Mop likes to hang out in this area in the middle here. So as you can see, she's coiled up nicely across the branches where they cross, and then the vines are there supporting her as well. Um, when she's not out on the branches here, she'll be in one of her two hides. So one down there, and one down there. She's on the move now, so we'll see what she's up to. Um, so, uh, as I said, my Pony's in a three foot Viv Exotic currently. She's got a white python uh, ceramic and guard here, and then she has the LED lighting. Um, when my Pony moves up, she will be getting a UVB spot, um, which will be interesting to see how she changes uh, her basking behavior during the day, and um, if she makes good use of it or not. She has a... Uh, Orchid bark substrate with a layer of eco earth underneath, so it holds humidity really well. But I can just give it a spray if I want to boost it when she's shedding. Um, Mopani's story is very interesting for me, anyway. I think it's one of the coolest stories. So, two weeks before I got her, I was talking about how much I wanted a carpet python and how I thought they were absolutely stunning. And I was looking at uh, two carpet pythons in particular which um, were the adults, uh, the parents, so to speak, of um, some, some babies at uh, one of my local reptile st uh, shops. So I was looking at both of these pythons and thinking, oh, well, they're both beautiful. Um, well, you know, I'd like either of them, really. So, absolutely stunning. And then, two weeks later, I went to the reptile shop and didn't actually have it in mind to buy a carpet python, you know, we'd gone to get some pieces of wood, um, some rocks, things like that, and basically just to have a little look around, because it's nice to go and see the animals. Um, they have loads there that I can't house, so sometimes it's nice to just go and see them. And um, we were about to leave, and we were looking through the stack of, um, of wood that they had available, just to see if there were any pieces that we wanted. And while going through the Mopani wood, she was inside. So completely free roaming in the shop and in that pile of wood. She was freezing cold. At the time she was tiny, I could just lift her with one hand. Um, <clears throat> so I pulled her out and took her over to the guys uh, running the shop and I said that we'd found her in the Mopani wood and, you know, what did they want to do? Did they have a space for her? And um, they didn't want, she'd actually escaped two weeks previously when I'd been looking at those pictures of the carpet pythons on their website. And she is the offspring of the two that I was looking at. So it all felt really weird. And you know, I, I don't particularly believe in fate or destiny or anything like that. I think things just happen. Um, but she happened and I couldn't walk away because it felt just too perfect. Um, so we took her home the same day, the guys in the shop gave us kind of just a nominal fee, really, <laughs> just just to, just to take her. Um, and we got her home, we got her all set up in here, and um, she's been fantastic. Um, so yeah, it really was just a, a strange thing to happen. We, we went in looking for some Mopani wood and came out with this beautiful carpet python that we've been after for such a long time and um, that's why we call her Mopani. I know a lot of people think it's a 
really weird name to name this Australian snake after an African tree. But that's that's the reason why, it's because we found her in, in the Mapani wood. Um, and the name just stuck. So, there she is. Our strange little uh, coincidence. But she's wonderful. Um, having Mapani has been a different experience than any other snake I've owned. Um, you'll see from the videos that a lot of my snakes are incredibly relaxed. Um, very chilled out animals. Mapani is a typical carpet python in many ways, but she is still a little nervous here and there. Um, I put it down to kind of the amount of, of time that we spend with her is maybe not as much as it could be to tame her faster. That being said, she comes out to be handled the same as any of the other animals here. Um, <clears throat> she seems to enjoy her handling once she's out. She'll let us know when it's time to finish for sure. <laughs> she makes it very clear. Um, but getting her out is always a little interesting because she's so long and I don't know it's difficult to see when she's coiled up here. But she's a very long snake and um, her little tail just hooks onto things and I'm very hesitant to pull on her. In fact I say I'm hesitant, I just don't pull on her. The bones in the tail are so tiny you risk doing some damage and um, I don't want that to happen. I want her to feel secure. This is her home. So we're getting to that point where Mopani will let us know when she's ready to come out. And she does, and she comes on over, and um, she's still a bit funny, but we'll get there. We're definitely persistent here, so she can take her time, but we also want to make sure that as she grows and becomes a, a beautiful big snake, we're not going to have any issues with handling. But as I said, once she's out, she's a sweetheart. Um, she's uh, usually fairly relaxed. But a typical carpet python, she's very interested in everything around her. See, now she's interested in the camera, but it won't focus on her face. There we go. Oh, so cute. Okay, so it's a bit later, and it's now feeding time. So I'm just going to feed Mopani so you can see. Um, I won't feed her eating, I'll just feed her striking because uh, she doesn't like to eat on camera. We'll get a good strike out of her though. There we go. So she always uh, coils fairly enthusiastically, but um, she'll hold on to that mouse for a couple minutes and then she'll start to eat. So I'll leave her be. If you have any questions about Mopani, carpet pythons in general, or um, care or setups or anything like that, do let me know. Post your questions in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to, hit the subscribe button. You can expect more videos like this and also some uh, educational, informational videos every so often as well. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon.